Hi guys! I'm gonna try doing this zoomed in because I don't have any pants on. Anyway, today I was in the town called Västerås and uh, the local shooting club there had a precision rifle shooting match. And I brought my grandfather's trusty old 65 55 from the 60s with no box magazine and uh, well it shoots awesome so I thought who gives a shit I'm gonna have fun. So I had two goals for the day not come last and actually hitting a fucking target and I accomplished both goals well I came second to last <laughs> uh, but at least I did not finish last so I always have that it was a very fun competition 12 different stages uh, a lot of different shooting positions it, it was on steel from 100 meters to 500 meters Everything timed, everything under pressure. You had to have awkward shooting positions like uh, with zero support or very unstable support. You had to run 20 meters away, pick up a cartridge, put it in your rifle, shoot, run back, pick up another cartridge, stuff like that. So uh, it was quite hard and uh, there was a lot of really, really talented people there. And uh, for those people who enjoy uh, the, the Spur, uh, Håkan Spur's uh, very excellent uh, mounts, he was there, but he was in another patrol, so I, I didn't get to talk to him. Anyway, and uh, some of Sweden's most talented shooters were there. And one guy, he, he almost scored full. I, I have no idea how he did it, because like shooting at a 10 by 10 centimeter large steel plate well it's something like this at 500 meters on a, on, a, on, on time and uh, with pressure and awkward shooting positions that's not easy and uh, for me the most uh, the best stage was that stage at 500 meters um, shooting uh, three different targets 30 by 30 centimeters 20 by 20 and then 10 by 10 so one shot, one shot, one shot, then again one shot, one shot, one shot, then again one shot, one shot, one shot. That one, uh, that was my best stage. But since I didn't have box magazines and I only had like 120 seconds or I don't remember the time on that stage. But anyway, small amount of time and, uh, and uh, you had to shoot from I think a simulated roof slanted like this. If I remember correctly, probably not. Anyway, it was awkward and very hard. So I did, on uh, most stages I did not even get to shoot all my cartridges because I didn't have time because I <laughs> loaded like this <laughs> or uh, more like this instead of just having a magazine and racking the bolt. Go figure. So uh, another reason for me to get uh, Sauer 200 STR. That rifle's gonna be awesome. Okay. I'll show some foot, more footage of, of, uh, of the shooting. I hope I remember to uh, block out all the faces now. If you see your face and uh, you don't want to see it, tell me and I'll just remove the video immediately. But uh, if I'm not retarded, I should be able to just block all the faces. Have a nice day, everyone. Vem var det som sköt först här? Du, du kan börja se om den här är hygglig höjd för dig samtidigt. Eller du kan vänta så får han filma det. Skjut klar. Ja, du får ju fylla på innan om du vill. Så 
så du fyller, fyller på, på magasinet. Du får fylla brunnen. Ja, ah, okej. Okay. Vad då kör du om? Ja, jag kör om. Visst inte jag. Så alla andra fick ju fylla i på den som var i på fyllt mag så då tycker jag du kan få fylla på brunnen. Kanske tycker du blir för enkelt då. Ja. Ja, du får ju handikapp här nu vet du. Alla andra är Och det är Max. Det är inte att jag är mycket handikapp. Skit klar. Skiten är klar. Skitta ner då! Ja. Den var svettig alltså. Vi får se hur de hanterar eftermiddagen. Ja, ja, det blir så. För de har antagligen sådana pekar. Ja, det är så. Ja, det är så. Det var trevligt att avsluta. Ja, det är så. No. Det kommer garanterat att bli fel hand och grejer. Ja, men det är klart. Ja, och Marcus sa någonting om att man har... Alltså, att titta på... Ja, men det är klart.